Alright, like I said in the last video about this uh, Sylvanius Vought, uh, I was going to take the generator off and wire it back to the way it was factory. So, here is the top part with the magnets in it. See here. And up here we have the bridge rectifier for three phase. And here's the top of the generator. Just the one set screw on the uh, magnet part and then four screws on this part. Now here's the stator. Here it is rewired. Normally you just have one phase, two phase, and three phase. And then it'll pick up the first one, the second one, the third one, first, second, third, all the way around. So what I had done is I had broke it down into three sections. So you'll have the first phase, first phase, first phase, and then the first phase again. And then this is where I cut it, and then it starts again here. The first phase will pick up again on this one, and then again over here. So I broke it down into three sets of coils. So you have three phases with three sets. Now what that does is it'll increase the amperage output, but the voltage, it needs to spin faster to reach the charging voltage. But I didn't know, um, I need a steady 15 mile an hour wind to get that uh, Sylvanius uh, wind turbine up to a charging voltage. Uh, but most of the time here we get winds around 4 to 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it back to the factory setting and uh, just rewire it the way it was. So all the coils are in series instead of uh, series parallel. And that should get me a charging voltage of around winds of 5 miles an hour. And as the winds pick up it will increase amperage but it will clamp the voltage down to that charging voltage. Here on the stator. Let's see here. You can see here, I put these back together back in series. And the second set, I did one here, and I'm on my second one. Once I get these two uh, soldered back together, then I'll be back to the way it was from the factory. And we'll get it mounted back up, and we'll see how it does. Alright, I got her rewired back to factory. Uh, hooked the bridge rectifier back up with the uh, clip leads there. And. We're hooked up to our battery, and we got a voltage of, what, 12.15. Uh, now, go ahead and take this off of here and here. Oh, we don't want that. Let's put you there. And we got a reading of nothing. So now, we got no wind, so I'm going to go ahead and just spin it by myself here. Okay, it's about as fast as it was spinning in a 10 mile an hour wind, and that gives me an open circuit voltage of a little over 20. Let's give it another spin here. And it hit 30 for a second, but that's okay, because once we put a good battery on there, that'll keep the voltage clamped down. Let me go ahead and hook the battery back up. Okay, I got the battery plugged back in. We're sitting at 12.14. Let me give her a spin here. And you can see we're charging. That's about a 5 mile an hour, 7 mile an hour breeze to get it to spin that fast. And we're still charging at that speed. So that's perfect. That's what I wanted. Uh, I got to get some uh, some new bus fuses for my other meter so I can do DC amperage and as soon as I get that I'll probably go down to Walmart and see if I can't find some uh, and then this afternoon I'll go ahead and get some amperage readings so we know what kind of uh, juice we're putting into the battery. Alright, it's been a couple of days since I shot the first part of this update and uh, we got some wind coming through here today. So what I did is I hooked up my jewel ringer circuit, left the light running all night out here so uh, I could run the battery down quite a bit and it is definitely well below where it should be but this is a, uh, a semi good battery anyway so I really don't care. Um, so here's our voltage now, we're at 9.2726. 
Um, when the next little bit of wind comes through, I'll uh, get the camera back out and show the charging voltage. Alright, it's a little later in the afternoon, and uh, since I disconnected the light and let the battery recover for a couple hours, this is where it sits. 9.98, almost 10 volts. Now I'm going to go ahead and show the open circuit voltage of the turbine. We're running about a 10 mile an hour wind right now. I'll go ahead and hook the meter up to that and then we'll show the uh, open circuit voltage. Okay, I just got uh, my clip bleeds here from the wind turbine. Got an open circuit voltage of 24, 25. And that's our rotational speed of the turbine there. the wind kicks up it picks up quite easily okay now I'm going to go ahead and connect the load to the battery and we can watch the battery charge okay again here's our standing voltage on our battery go ahead and connect this up and now we are starting to charge the battery okay now we're going to show charging current or dead short current see how many amps we're getting out of this now that's on a dead short it's going to act like a break but we did have almost a full amp here when the wind picks up a little more we'll test uh, the charging current uh, it's probably getting about a third of an amp right now that was on dead short uh, so once the wind picks up to a steady 10 to 12 miles an hour, we'll check uh, charging current and see where we're at. So after a windy day today and watching the meters and doing some testing, uh, what I found is I was only able to achieve about three quarters of an amp of charging, which isn't very good. So my plans are is to build a frame on top of this. I have an old bicycle that I can get the gears and the chain off of. And that'll give me about a one rotation on the turbine and then I'll hook the chain and the gears to the generator and that'll give me about four and a half rotations on the generator per one rotation of the turbine. And then I'll take the, uh, the smart drive generator on top and wire it back uh, the way I had it previously to where it was cut down into three. Um, so that should probably give me a charging of, of probably about four amps, maybe five amps. So that's where we're at now, and uh, I'll go ahead and get a frame together and get the gears on it. Here in about a week or two, I'll uh, post an update and let you guys know where I'm at. Thanks.